Hai, katika mwandishi wa jambo leo tuko nje ya mipaka ya Tanzania na tunaelekea Russia. Uh, urusi tukiita hivyo na tunaungana na Gloria Michael ambaye anaenda kuzungumza kuhusu uwekezaji wa gesi asilia. Gloria Michael karibu sana katika Jambo Tanzania asubuhi ya leo. Asante sana mwenyekiti Zaituni Hamis pamoja uh, na wajumbe wa kikao hapo. Naona Musa pamoja na Rajab. Hapa nipo uh, nchini Russia, niko St Petersburg. Siku kadha takriban siku tatu kabla ya mkutano wa pili mkubwa kati ya viongozi wa Afrika pamoja na nchi ya Russia na mzungumzia rais Vladimir Putin sisi tumebahatika uh, kupata ziara ya kikazi ya waandishi wa habari iliyoandaliwa na kampuni ya Gazprom hii ni kampuni ambayo inamilikiwa na serikali ya Russia inayofanya utafiti uziduaji wa mafuta na gesi asilia lakini pia ndio kampuni kubwa zaidi ya kuzidua gesi asilia ndani ya nchi ya Russia lakini pia pengine ulimwenguni katika ziara hii tumetembelea maeneo mbalimbali ambayo yana visima vya uchimbaji vinavyomilikiwa na kampuni hii ya Gazprom sio hivyo tu tumetembelea pia mitambo ambapo tumeona namna ambapo gesi asilia inatumika kuzalisha nishati nyingine ikiwemo kuzalisha umeme katika kiwanda chini uwezo wa kuzalisha kilo watu 360. Ukiachana na hayo tuliende pia katika makazi huko vijijini katika mkoa huu wa Leningrad. Mjio St Petersburg huko katika mkoa wa Leningrad. Na tulienda vijijini huko kuona namna gani usambazaji wa gesi vijijini unavyosaidia katika kutoa huduma lakini pia gharama yake ikiwa ni ndogo zaidi. Hapa niko na mwekezaji kutoka nchini Msumbiji. Huyu ni mwenyekiti eh, wa kampuni ya Mitra Energy ambayo ipo ndani ya nchi 14 ikiwemo Tanzania lakini pia ni mtumiaji wa bandari ya Dar es Salaam Michael Sen. Tumekuwa naye kwa hizi uh, takriban siku nane ambazo uh, mimi niko hapa nchini Russia nikiwa nampiga picha wangu uh, Clement Sila. Michael tatueleza uh, kwa ufupi tu katika ziara hii hizi siku nane ambazo tuko hapa uh, nchini Russia nini amejifunza lakini hii inatoa tafsiri gani katika uwekezaji wa gesi asilia uh, katika bara la Afrika lakini katika nchi yake ya Msumbiji lakini pia katika ukanda mzima wa Sadik na bara zima la Afrika How are you very good morning to you Michael good 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 morning Gloria How have you been so far uh, it's been an incredible trip uh, into Russia uh, to see all the production sites uh, energy production distribution centers of uh, gas uh, it is uh, a reality that we can transport to our own reality back home in Africa as an energy giant in Mozambique and actually in almost 14 countries in Africa what lessons have you learned so far since the beginning of this trip from the Bavanyankos boy up to Leningrad here in St Petersburg I think uh, uh, the first lesson is that uh, uh, if we are united we can do more uh, and uh, seeing the dimension of a country like Russia which is about 17 million square uh, kilometers and looking at our east and southern african uh, countries uh, some of them with uh, large reserves of uh, gas some with oil uh, as the case of Tanzania and the case of Mozambique I believe we can uh, uh, use the example of uh, what Russia has done with the production centers of gas and the network of pipelines to distribute uh, natural gas, produce power, produce fertilizers and uh, being able to bring development into industrial centers. Ahead of the uh, summit uh, that is due to happen this Thursday, we have seen that President Vladimir Putin has issued a statement and in his statement he says African problems should be solved African ways but also he says uh, Russia stays strong an African ally in his uh, ways to development seeing the kind of development from the Bovanensk Square up to St Petersburg the distribution as an, an uh, as an energy company in Mozambique When are we going to have this kind of investment this kind of distribution back at home uh, well in in the case of uh, Mozambique at least uh, the city of uh, Maputo the capital uh, already exists a system of uh, uh, natural gas distribution uh, connected through pipeline networks that goes specially to industrial areas uh, supplying several industries uh, in the outskirts of Maputo in Matola and in Maputo mostly for uh, restaurants, hotels, 
and now for residents. But uh, the, the length and the scale that we have seen in Russia uh, give us dreams that we can do this not only uh, in the capital cities in our countries, but we can go much further. We can go to the second, to the third, and to the districts, to the local regions uh, to bring in gas because gas can uh, create a large amount of uh, um, wealth uh, to the people uh, from uh, improving the cooking conditions, uh, from having uh, hot water to take showers, to industrial sites, for restaurants, for hotels, which use a lot of energy, and for power production. So I believe that this example that we have seen uh, and the way they are doing can inspire us to uh, do more. And yes, uh, African problems should be uh, tackled with African solutions. But we are not alone in the world. Uh, we need to keep cooperating with several uh, regions in the world, including uh, Russia. Uh, and we are not close uh, for technology. We are not close for financing. But uh, we for sure need to find solution using our own benchmark. That is Michael Sen, chairman of the Mitra Energy. Ni mwenye kiti huyu wa Mitra Energy Kampuni ya Nishati aliyoko kule nchini Msumbiji kijihusisha na usambazaji wa mafuta lakini pia uh, teknolojia nzima ya uzidiwaji wa gesi asilia ni mtumiaji mzuri wa bandari ya Dar es Salaam nataka kufahamu uh, kutoka kwake uh, nini mtazamo wake kuhusu bandari ya Dar es Salaam Michael you you said that uh, earlier in our talks you told me that you use the um, Dar es Salaam port how can you rate the efficiency of the port of Dar es Salaam well, uh, in our region, in East Africa, uh, we have uh, mostly Mombasa, Dar es Salaam, uh, Beira, and Maputo as the ports uh, that serve uh, the interland countries. Uh, I believe that uh, all these ports have a great length of improvement ahead. And our governments, uh, they must work uh, a lot with port authorities. You also have uh, Ocean Smart City. Um, can you tell us uh, uh, how so far the, the, the project is going and actually how are you going to, to put on um, natural gas in order to power and to make sure that you are actually uh, being clean and smart enough to have this uh, smart city? Uh, Ushen Smart City is a uh, new development in the outskirts of Maputo uh, and is taught as a uh, humanized uh, urban development of the 21st century uh, for uh, the African youth. Uh, we also in Africa, we deserve to live in a very uh, good conditions like we are seeing here in St. Petersburg, uh, clean streets, um, no crime, uh, a very organized and urbanized uh, environment with a lot of green areas. Uh, the, the, the utilization of natural gas in the Ocean Smart City is a natural part of it because uh, to make a smart city, we need first of all to produce power and part of this power will be produced by green energies and another is going to come from uh, natural gas. Plus we will have a distribution network of natural gas that will connect each household so that we can reduce the impact of using coal uh, of using uh, uh, electricity uh, made by other sources uh, and will make it cheaper uh, for the households to cook and to uh, boil water. So uh, natural gas is part of the project and this is the way we believe we can bring a more smarter use of uh, uh, natural resources that we have in abundance, which is natural gas, uh, in uh, our uh, urban development. Uh, we've seen that uh, among the things that uh, Gazprom uh, has is they have a network of distribution of natural gas to almost 28.9 million uh, apartments and, 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 and houses. Um, do you think we will reach to a point at least half of um, our African households and the, the most remote ones will be maybe in future? Do you think will, will that dream be realized in, in our African homes? I think so. Uh, if you look at the, the late, latest developments from West Africa, 
especially from Nigeria, which is the continent with the largest reserve of natural gas in, in, in Africa. They are uh, pushing for this project that will integrate the majority of the countries from the West Africa. So with the large reserves uh, that Mozambique and Tanzania have together, uh, with our governments and our national uh, oil companies, hydrocarbons and private sector can work together to make a large uh, distribution channel with gas pipes uh, for uh, the, 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 the large uh, countries that are surrounding uh, these two uh, uh, gas giants. We, I believe in the next 30 years, we will be able to integrate natural gas into the most remote villages. And natural gas uh, doesn't only serve uh, for uh, cooking and for uh, boiling water, but natural gas can produce uh, uh, GTL, which is gas to liquids, can produce uh, uh, diesel, can produce gasoline. We can produce ammonia so that we can increase our levels of fertilizers uh, and, um, uh, and electricity, which can uh, then be distributed to the most local regions in our continent. So natural gas is the future and the present of the African continent. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you very much. Na mtazamaji wa TBC1, uh, huyo ni Michael Sen Mwenyekiti wa kampuni ya Mitra Energy ya kule nchini Msumbiji. Lakini hata sisi hapa nyumbani uh, tayari uh, gesi asilia inazalisha umeme ikileta katika mradi wa Kinyerezi 1 jijini Dar es Salaam lakini ziko baadhi ya nyumba hapo mikocheni jijini Dar es Salaam ambazo zimeunganishwa uh, moja kwa moja uh, na mitambo hiyo ya gesi asilia. Changamoto tunayopata kama taifa ni kuongeza basi idadi ya watumiaji wa gesi asilia mpaka kule vijijini ili kuhakikisha kila mtu anapata nishati safi hususani gesi asilia inayopatikana huko Mtwara pengine na maeneo mengine ambayo a, bado utafiti unaendelea. Mwenyekiti Zaituni Hamis pamoja na wajumbe na warudishia kijiti kutoka hapa St. Petersburg kwa niaba ya mpiga picha wangu Clement Sila a, basi tuendelee na mjadala na asubuhi njema msishangae ili jua kali sana jua huku kuna kucha saa kumi alfajiri ukajikuta huko wazi pap saa kumi alfajiri ndugu yangu kulali ni kweupe lakini pia kuna chwea saa tatu saa nne usiku kwa hiyo usiku ni mfupi na mchana ni mrefu studio Aha, eh mwenye nilikuwa najiuliza hapa. Mbona eh. asubuhi yote hii lakini kuna kucha mapema? Eh, jua kale. Moscow, St. St. Petersburg unaita. Mji huu bwana una historia kubwa tu yake. Kitu yote kwa yote ni gesi asilia. Lakini mm. do you think ah. we can switch the language for ah. the rest of the program? Eh? Mm. Kwenda kilasha. <laughs> Kwenda kilasha. <laughs> 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 